Hey guys, I was going through my stuff today and I found my glasses. <laughs> what do you think? I'm under the, you know, I'm under that old, that old stereotype, you know, about glasses. I guess when I was a kid, I've all, I always had to wear glasses my whole life, actually, and I've had glasses up and since I was like seven or eight years old, I guess. I don't know. I have a really bad stigmatism, and actually, it's it prevented me. Plus, I'm a little colorblind. You guys didn't know that, but I'm colorblind. I can see colors a little bit, but I get colors mixed up because they start to fade into each other, and I get them mixed up like purple and blue and red and green, and it's very, like, red and green, they look the same to me. Purple and blue look the same to me. Yellow and pea green look the same to me. Yellow and orange look the same to me. Uh... I don't know, it's kind of weird, but anyways, I wanted, I remember when I was like 17 years old, I graduated high school when I was 17, and I really wanted to join the, the Marines, and I wanted to, uh, you know, travel the world, I felt that was going to be a good way to travel the world, and to be a part of something very awesome, and so I was trying to join the Marine Corps. When I went in to, um, to get recruited, they put you through a physical, and that was the only thing that I didn't pass was my eyes. Um, I have a really bad stigmatism, which doesn't stop you from joining the military, but the color blindness did stop me, so that was not cool for me. But anyways, you know, when I was a little kid, I used to, my mom would give me, uh, you know, I had a pair of glasses, and I rarely ever wore them, even though I was supposed to, and my mom would get on me a little bit about wearing my glasses and stuff, but... Um, you know, kids can be cruel when you're a kid, you know, and especially when you, if you wear glasses, you know, you know, they call you names, and you guys know the names that the kids call. They can be kind of cruel. So I've always, that's always stuck with me, and some, a lot of people tell me that I look good with glasses, that I look a lot smarter, I look cleaner. Um, I do see a lot better. Everything is a lot clearer for me. I really do enjoy wearing glasses. I just, it just, you know, memories of being a kid just, hit me again even though people tell me that I look good in glasses and that I should wear them all the time um, maybe I'm just lazy maybe I'm I guess I'm a little lazy to wear my glasses so um, you know <laughs> I don't know it's kind of kind of weird I did get I got these glasses um, geez must be about eight years ago my mom bought them for me she was going in a good new pair new pair of glasses and I hadn't had any glasses for a while, and so she told me to pick out which ones I want. And they were quite expensive, actually, uh, here in here in Bangkok. This is the name of the comp company, Ch Top Chiron. They gave me this cool box. It's kind of like a magic box. It rolls over into each other. It's kind of cool, see? You can close it both ways. But it's kind of got these little straps on there. I was impressed with that when I got this, so... Um, so I thought that I would, um, do a little dance, not a dance, but a little head bob for you. I thought I, I like, I really like this song and I have to speed it up a little bit. Um, so the, so that I don't get a, you know, music, um, what do you call that copyright thing? But, um, there's this group out called The Script and they have this song called Break Even and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this song, but for some reason, um, I, I just really like it. Matthew heard it from one of his friends and he came home and he was tell he was singing it he kept singing it for days and days and days he kept hearing from he feel right yeah so uh he kept listening to the to her uh mp3 player and they kept playing this song over and over and i said well what's that why you know what are the words you know and so he was telling me and i did a search on it and i ended up finding it and when i played it on youtube he was like yeah that's it that's it so i i started listening to it and sure enough um I just fell in love with this song, and they, they do another one too, The Man, I can't remember, let me see, The Man Who Can't Be Moved, that's another one. If you get a chance, um, get the album The Script, and the name of it is The Script, that's the, that's the album name, but the band name is called The Script too, and I have a feeling that they're from the UK, I, I, I believe they're from the UK because I watched an interview that they did, and um, they have a, a UK-ish type accent. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just hearing it wrong because I really don't have that much of an accent. But, yeah, I think they're from the U.K. But anyways, um...
So yeah, I really like that song, and um, nothing really happened today. Tomorrow, oh, yes, I do. Something did happen. Do you guys remember? I went to that um, that casting for a for the French movie that they want me to play in with uh, Jean Reno. Well, they called today and reminded me that I needed to go. Be a part of that on August 10th, and tomorrow at 5 p.m. I'm supposed to go to a um, rehearsal, and I'm supposed to practice the fighting scene. And they told me how I'm, how much I'm getting. It's not a lot of money. It's very little, actually. And um, so I'm excited though that I get to be a part of that because now it's more. It's some. It's enough, something else. So tomorrow, in tomorrow's vlog, I will. It'll be up late because I won't be home until late. But tomorrow. You will get to see uh, my, the fight scene, but uh, it's just a practice, so I'm sure that they've got some some guy, some choreographer guy or something like that that I'm supposed to work with, so that's kind of cool, so I'm really happy that I'm still doing that. So next Tuesday, I have to go to the Bangkok, it's called Lumpini, Lumpini, Lum, Lumpini, saying? Lumpini Muay Thai Boxing Stadium. And that's where they're doing the fight scene. And he's supposed the main character, his name is Simon. He is supposed to be fighting many different people. But I guess I might be like the last person he fights. I'm not sure. Because I'm the guy that like pretty much rips his head off. I'm the guy that beats him up really good. So <laughs> So I'm excited about that. And I love acting anyways, and I love being on set and meeting new people and stuff it's very cool for me and they treat me so nice every time that i go to one of those things i'm kind of well known here in bangkok so a lot of people when i go there they always remember me from something else that i've done or something like that so very cool for me anyways leave your comments below about my glasses what do you think do you think i look good with them or without them which one see even when i just took them off just now i can tell that i can totally see so much better. Like right now, I'm looking into the camera and I can see the lens, the small eye of the lens, right? I can see it, but when I put these on, it becomes totally clear. It's so much different. You think, uh, you know, so it does It does improve my vision a lot. Um, it just really focuses things in. It's like, um, even without without my glasses, yes, I can see totally fine, but it's not crisp. You know what I mean? I'm sure some of you with, that have stigmatisms and stuff, you understand what I'm talking about. It's just not crispy enough. But when you put your glasses on, like, it just totally focuses it right in. But anyways, let me know. Maybe I will start to wear my glasses. Um, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment below. Do, does, uh, does Mr. Judd look better with his glasses on or off? Tell me. Do I look smarter? What is... Tell me. Just give me some feedback, because either way, I'm I'm happy either way. So I love you guys a lot, and we will see you tomorrow. Probably looks funny with the glasses. This look, huh? Mm, it's not the same. <laughs> love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the Hathaways. Brain fart. Ah! <laughs> Chipmunk. <laughs>